What is geo micro? I think the fact that it's hard to say is like so telling. <laughs> is your research driven to solve a problem that we're facing as a society? No. Oh. <laughs> it's actually to just discover new things. That is my job. I'm an expert geomicrobiologist who's looking for life in the deepest, darkest recesses of Earth. I explain what I do to students at two different levels. It's kind of like looking at the way life interacts with rocks. It is the intersection of microbiology, so, you know, pathogens, the diseases that make us sick. So it's close relatives of them. They're making minerals, they're using minerals, they're part of Earth systems. We're talking about a whole world of beings that have kind of yet to be discovered. What's the coolest place you've been to in your research? The bottom of the ocean. How deep are we talking? So the deepest I've ever been is a mile deep in the ocean. It's a whole nother world down there. Where else have you gone? I've actually gone in a couple of volcanoes. But there's one in Costa Rica, it's a day long hike to get down. And then at the bottom is super hot soil that was 100 degrees Celsius and a lake that was more acidic than stomach acid. What's the weirdest thing you found? New deep branches on the tree of life. Have you heard of DNA? Yes. yes. Like in our body. Yes. Okay, so we have DNA in our bodies and these microbes have DNA in their little cellular bodies too. Oh my gosh, that DNA looks really weird. What makes it so groundbreaking is that we're applying techniques that were developed in a laboratory and we're applying them to nature, which is wild and has lots of mysteries. What are some real world potential benefits of your research? Sky's the limit, like in laundry detergent, when it was discovered that there could be enzymes that don't need high temperature to be functional. That allowed people to start washing our laundry a little cooler, which saves a ton of energy. So who knows where the discoveries that we're making today are gonna end up 10, 15 years from now. The thing we discover, then that enables a cascade of solving not just one problem, but many problems. I think just being like, hey, here is some cool stuff about nature that we didn't know before. And that's what I find most immediately just awesome about it.